Hello everyone, I do not have an intro, but I want to say welcome to the second series on this channel. And here we are building a tropical island adventure park. So you're having an adventure on a tropical island in this park. <laughs> um, what we're starting on here is a pier because you are brought to this park via a boat. So it came in really handy that we have these uh, boat entrance things from the Europac. And honestly, I'm not quite sure yet if they work without this like little like ticket scan thing. And I'm gonna be really upset if they don't, but um, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> so uh, before we really get deeper into what the ideas of this park, I just wanna say, uh, because I'm just scared that we will get to this part before I get to mention it, I did build a souvenir shop or a gift shop kind of behind the information stands that we're gonna be building in a second. And I thought this was gonna be one video because they are kind of like conjoined buildings but it was really long and I think I kind of managed it to uh, separate those two things in a way that it did still make sense. So if in the back you see that there is a gift shop forming, don't worry, this is the next video, you're gonna see that. But I cut it out for this one and I think I did a good job of it. I don't think it's too distracting. There's no back and forth or whatever. So I just wanted to mention that in case you caught this in the back, that there's like, something that I'm not showing you, it's because I'm showing it to you in the next video because, you know, this would have been really long otherwise and it made sense to separate it because it's two different things, right? <laughs> so now we're gonna be talking about what this park is all about. We have a tropical island adventure park and one thing that I really, really wanna mention is that I don't really have a geographical point for this. So this isn't going to be specifically a tropical island in South America or in Asia. This is just some island with some beautiful beaches and some jungle and that's just what we're going to do. We are going to have a lot of beaches and a lot of jungle like I just said um, and have animals and plants that kind of fit it or kind of look like they fit it. <laughs> um, so that's what we're going to be doing because, okay, here's the thing. I didn't want it to get stuck in references, like reference pictures and check if what I'm building is like correct or makes sense for something. I just wanted to get inspired and build. I don't have any inspiration pictures that I've used so far. Um, I just, okay, kind of my viewpoint for this is if you ask, a like an 11 year old kid to draw a jungle or a tropical island with a jungle <laughs> that's kind of what they would draw i guess i mean it's kind of a vague description but i maybe you understand what i mean just like not that much actual factual things and more of a look um what you can expect from this though is very much clutter and very much like overgrown beautiful jungle stuff <laughs> you know what i mean um and another thing that you can expect here will be a resort because my idea was kind of like okay there's a lot to do on this island or it's multiple islands actually that are uh join for this park and i thought you might need more than a day to do all this because uh, I'm kind of planning some activities, you know, so um, <laughs> it sounds like eh, whatever. I'm planning to do stuff that is more like an activity, like a boat ride, but more different things. Um, so I was like thinking, why not make like a little bit of a resort because we have a beach and it is beautiful. People would want to live here, like stay the night, I guess. Um, so why not do that? And we are going to be building this, but it will take a while until we get there, until we get ready to um, to build this, because it will be a big build, and I kind of want to be absolutely focused and on my A game, and like already know the vibe of this project very well before I get into this very big project. Because for an entrance, actually, what we're building today, it's not that big. It's honestly just a few. Um, information booths so this is not like a grand building that we're doing it's just uh, a pier with some um 
fairy lights and just like kind of inviting kind of uh low-key i guess <laughs> but but very nice and welcoming and warm everything um we will change the color of the water and i'm just gonna say it now because i will forget it maybe later on i will not i will pick a, a color of water for the screenshots for this but I might not remember to change the color of the water every time I take it out and back in and everything whilst building on this project and uh, various animals that might use this beach and rivers and whatnot. So just so that you're warned, I'm, I will change the water color in the end when everything's finished, but you know, Planet Zoo, you have to take the water out and put it back in and sometimes the color changes and all of that. So. Um, I will say I was not the smartest about this pier. I did make a lot of changes to these pillars that took me a long time. And if I had just put in the brain power to make those piers, piers, those poles, I just had the word for it, didn't I? Anyway, if I just put in like the thought of that beforehand, that would have been much quicker, <laughs> but I didn't. But that's okay. I mean, I cut out the boring part. I just showed you what I kind of did. And this was something that was so much fun. I really liked making these little ropes. And other than the ropes, I don't think there's a lot of decoration on the pier. Um, I was kind of thinking of maybe putting in benches, but that just didn't feel like it made sense because the pier doesn't even have like railings or whatever. So people would just like fall over, I think, like off the bench into the water. And I mean, even though it's tropical water, it's still not nice. So. <laughs> I don't know, I, I just felt like this wouldn't be too too cluttered. I mean, I'm potentially putting in some, like, uh, what would you call them? Barrels, um, but I didn't feel like getting on the workshop and looking at barrels and I didn't feel like making barrels. So yeah, maybe they will follow, but not for now. I did use, however, there are like, um, there are bins or uh, like trash holding, devices <laughs> i'm missing the word here but uh from the euro pack and they look like barrels so those i did put on the pier and i think they look nice there um and again with the fairy lights and everything obviously you would not want to stay on the pier because the boats are coming in and out and everything so the idea is that the people aren't going to stay on the pier they're just get off of it and into the park um, and right now we're working on a beach. It's kind of a rocky beach and I kind of looked at some pictures of beaches <laughs> like these tropical beaches that are on like almost like um, deserted islands, you know what I mean? And oftentimes they would have a fairly rocky beach like it's it's sandy but with a lot of rocks because um, what you see a lot with tropical islands is that they have a very steep, incline so it'd be like sand rocks plants and this is what i'm trying to kind of do here obviously there is this like um what would you call this like a like this little terrace in front of it like there's the way and it will we'll do um expand on that it will go f further down the side uh to the <laughs> to the right uh, and to the left, we are going to be building the resort. So for a long time, there will not really be... Honestly, I don't, I'm not sure if I'm saying that word right. The resort, I mean like a hotel. You know, like a hotel, but you have tiny little houses that you stay in. That's what I'm talking about. Um, that's, this will be off to the left. Like looking, if you look at it from the pier, like you enter from the boat, then to the left will be the hotel and to the right. There will be some more uh, shops later down the line and maybe already an animal that can access this beach, but I'm not gonna talk about it more. Um, but yeah, you will get right into looking at some beautiful animals um, as soon as you enter the park or enter the park and then walk to the right for a couple of meters. Um, and yeah, I'm, oh my God, now that I'm seeing this, I need to praise myself because I did not struggle that much with the fences in this. Given I'm only making one, fe two fences, but I didn't struggle that much. Usually it takes me a long time to figure out what to do with the fences. And this time it didn't. So good for me, right? 
<laughs> um, and yeah, I think I, I think they turned out nicely. Um, I, I don't remember where I got this idea from, but recoloring this mesh fence makes it look so nautical. And I've seen this in some video. I don't know whose it was though. Um, I remember it was like a sea lion or a seal enclosure, but I don't know. I saw it on a video. Maybe you even know what I'm talking about, but yeah, I really like this and it, I don't know. Me, it worked. <laughs> it worked. Um, and one thing I want to say is I really like building tropical stuff and I've honestly never really done it in Planet Zoo before. I mean, I've built on like a jungle map. But it wasn't, it was, it wasn't really like this. It wasn't like cluttered, it wasn't like overgrown. So I was really excited to do this. And I, I really like how it turned it, uh, <laughs> I really like how it turned out in the end. Um, I, I'm not, I mean, I'm not the happiest ever with the way that the shop front turns out, but I think it will kind of, um, grow into the nature a bit more the further we get into this project uh, and right now you see me place those uh, little shops and the two in the back are the gift shop shops and then on this little like platform next to them that's where we're building a tiny little very over cluttered very like almost like overwhelmingly filled gift shop and it, I don't know I really like the gift shop um it, I, like I said it will be in the next video but um yeah just so you know this is what we're kind of avoiding in this video because it will be there at some point all of a sudden because I cut it out but yeah so I mean you kind of see me constructing it because it will kind of become one co cohesive thing and oh yes it is an outdoor gift shop <laughs> um uh, yeah, I don't know. It will probably, they probably wouldn't really do that in real life because the stuff would probably get rained on and stuff. But you know, I mean, just for the fun of it, why not? Maybe they just, every time it rains, they grab it and bring it inside. I don't know. So um, I don't want to keep thinking about it because I really like how it looks and I don't want to put a roof on it because then the shadow will be weird. So there you go. Um, <laughs> But yeah, we're building on this shop front and I think I'm, we'll be switching this bamboo around a little bit later um, uh, and like play with the color and all that because I, I like the recolorable bamboo. I wish it had two color slots that would kind of give you the ability to kind of give this, um, I don't know, I don't know. I just, I, I retract my statement because I, I can't explain it, but <laughs> um, I just, I wish you had more color variation on this. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, because look at the wood of this uh, base game, like the base game wooden thing. There are different tones in this wood and I wish we could do this with the bamboo pieces because they're actually, I mean, they are recolorable. That's why they are quote unquote better than the other ones, but I mean, they they just look too fabricated, if that's a good word for it, because they are so just like one tone. However, going back to this little project, I still wanted to talk about it a little bit because I mean, hopefully you'll stick around and look at it and you're gonna wanna know what you're getting yourself into, right? So. Um, this park will kind of stretch over a couple of different islands and they are all going to be housing tropical animals, some of which have originally been living there and we kind of only create ways for the visitors to look at them in their natural habits, habitats, but others are brought here for the adventure park to give the visitors something to experience or an animal to interact with so um, they aren't all like strictly jungle animals but i think the animals that i kind of picked i'm not like 100 percent sure of what i'm gonna do but i had to kind of plan ahead because with this whole water thing and the islands obviously being fairly big i kind of had to figure out where i wanted to put them because i didn't want to start terraforming and then realize hmm 
Well, I want more islands to the left and now I can't do it because it's on the border of the map. So that's why I kind of had to plan ahead. But I think the animals that I've picked out so far and that I kind of have in the back of my mind, um, they would work here. I mean, they aren't jungle animals, but I think they are um, working well in, you know, more like humid, hot weather, which is what you would get on a tropical island, obviously. Um, but yeah, so these are kind of the animals to pick for it. And then the other thing is that these islands are connected by different uh, ways of getting across the island. So the islands that are closer to each other, they might have bridges or um, you could walk over like a sandbank is what I'm planning also. Why do I tell you my plans? I want to surprise you, but at the same time, I want to excite you for that. Um, and obviously boat rides and whatnot. So you would have different ways to get to different islands here. And I also kind of wanted to pay attention to the fact that because this is on an island and because it is kind of like a theme park and an adventure park, obviously it needs multiple um, people who work there and people who work there all around the clock, which means that there's probably quarters for, for employees to stay uh, while they work on this island. So. Um, that's also something that I want to keep in mind um, that, you know, I, maybe I'll dedicate an island to uh, residents, <laughs> like the employees that live there um, and don't have to like go home by boat every night, you know, or maybe they do have to take a boat because to get to that island, because why would the visitors have access to it? <laughs> I don't know. but. Um, that's also kind of something I'm kind of planning to do. I, like I said, I, I've drawn a map, actually. I've drawn a map of this island already so that I knew where to terraform um, and not to, uh, you know, be mad at myself because I did it in a way that makes it a lot more work in the end. Because that already happened. I, even though I had the map, it already happened. My first attempt at terraforming, which is why you don't see me terraform in this video because in the middle of it I realized that it was too far to the border of the map and that some of the islands that I was already planning ahead wouldn't be possible in the way that I placed the first island. So yeah, that's why the terraforming was an absolute mess. And also creating a beach, I don't know if you've ever done this in Planet Zoo, creating a beach takes a lot of time <laughs> because you would kind of want this like very slow um, decline into the water. Um, because if you've ever been to a beach, I mean, usually beaches that people swim at, they don't, uh, they have this, this very shallow water at first. And I kind of wanted to create this, uh, even though it goes over into the rocks, I still thought it looked the best this way and I mean you kind of get a glance of it here and there and we can definitely look at it in a real time pop because I'm thinking you know what maybe I do real time and cinematics or we just do cinematics either way you will see the waterfront um, and see this little beach and if you I mean, if you want me to show you how I created that beach, because it it do it do take some time. Um, it, yeah, I mean, I can show you, but I don't think it's that interesting. I don't, I'm not that mad that I had to cut it out. Also, um, for some reason, whenever I, there is water around, um, the footage is lagging. I mean, the game doesn't lag. It runs perfectly smooth, but the footage, once I put it in Premiere, it starts lagging and I'm like, yeah, but she didn't lag when I was playing, so this is kind of like unfair. <laughs> um, but, you know. Um, I, oh my god, this moment I realized that this tree, um, the, ones, the one that is there in front, uh, yeah, you know, if you sink it into the ground, it looks really cool. That's what I'm trying to say. So I think I'll be using that a lot more in this island. It really looks like uh, like a low growing plant that would cover the jungle floor, which is perfect. So uh, I'll probably keep this in the back of my mind. The one that you see on the um, left there. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I'm really bad with left and right. And if, if anything, 
these videos help me to get to decide what is left and what is right, then that's a success already, okay? If, if there's one person watching this, but with each video I get better at deciding or knowing <laughs> what is left and right, I mean, I'm deciding it, I just don't know if it's right, but um, yeah, if that helps, then I've, I've already won. Um, um, right there, you can see me kind of create this like little puddle almost um, with the uh, fountain piece, which is something that I, I really like to use the fountains for little water sources that don't have an animal that needs to drink from it and doesn't need to be recolored and just just a little touch of water these can be really handy because you don't have to mess around with the terrain when you're just using one of those like pre-filled fountain thingies and just sink them into the ground and cover it up with rocks and i think you can even recolor them now um so that's great that even helps you when with the coloring up with rocks and all that uh, I'm kind of struggling around now with the uh, the the plants um, because I don't really know what I want to use and I think you'll see me kind of go back and forth a lot from this like beach view like I wanted it to look cool while you are uh, walking up to it from the pier you know what I mean like you come off the boat you're like wow my vacation time on this beautiful island I'm gonna go to this park Oh my God, it's so beautiful. And that's what I wanted to have. And I really struggled because the, I wanted tall trees because this is a jungle, right? But um, there's kind of a leg of like mediocre jungle trees. Like they're all either huge or they're fairly far to the ground. So this one big tree just kind of sticks out in the back. But again, I think this is something that we'll get better with you know, continuing this build and continuing this project because obviously more will come there. And the way that these islands often look is that they are higher in the middle. Uh, so automatically, you know, there is, it looks like the trees are taller, the further in you go to the jungle, but really what it is that the terrain rises. So that's what we will do, but we can't do it here because we have this huge like walkway. <laughs> Um, but I mean, it's the entrance area, so they probably got rid of some trees, which is not the nicest, but you know, they, they kind of had to. Um, also there's no like ticket booth. This is actually like an info thing because the idea is like, if you have a ticket for the boat, you probably have a ticket for the park, which is also why I didn't put these like ticket scan things <laughs> in. And I just, I think it will come to bite me in the, um, hind behind so is that how you say it it's so hard not swearing it honestly is very hard not to swear but i don't want to swear i want to get into a good habit here um and yeah i think it's it that will be if if you need these things i'll be so obsessed or upset not obsessed um because i absolutely did not plan for this to have any part in, the, in, in this build uh and yeah oh my god okay right now we're building a planter in case you're wondering because i thought this was like kind of empty looking so we will build a little bit of a planter put a welcome sign there but not really you know distract the view from the uh, little info stands um and also we are uh building the exit because the idea is that even though you can stay multiple days and there's multiple things to do, I kind of want this to be, to have a round trip, you know? So the exit will also be there because obviously you'd have to go back to your boat or go back to your little um, resort, bungalow thing, whatever. I'm not quite sure how we'll build this, but I will. And I'm really excited actually to uh, create furniture for it because I like building furniture and I've not done it in a long time. I'll definitely record it. I don't know if I'll post it, but I've also have recorded something where I'm building my own um, backstage stuff, which is, to be honest, mostly brooms because I didn't find any on the workshop. So I have made a lot of different like brooms and rakes and whatever, um, just for some backstage cherry you know so um yeah we're kind of creating this little planter here i think we're almost kind of making it towards the end here i'm not sure 
Um, yeah, I think this will only be this little planter and the exit sign. Uh, but obviously, okay, in the end, obviously, the people are going to walk through both ways. They will, and that's fine. Um, I mean, honestly, who really builds for the visitors that are like the planet zoo visitors? Like, you don't. You build to show your friends. <laughs> And you built to be proud of yourself of building something cool. You're not building this to think, wow, I really hope this like AI that walks through walls is gonna be so happy here. <laughs> Unless it's franchise. But then you don't think, I hope they're happy. You think, I hope they spend a lot of money, you know? Um, but yeah, I'm totally fine with them probably walking in both directions. I mean, wouldn't it be so cool if we have something like the curbs and barriers, but adding making it so that they can only pass through it in like one direction haha <laughs> one direction but <laughs> i'm sorry i had to but um yeah that really threw me off why did i say that but um yeah i think we're almost at the end here so what i want to say is thank you so much for watching i hope you're excited for our cute little island adventure park um tropical island adventure park and i hope that you will stick around at least for the gift shop that you kind of got a sneak peek throughout this video of um, and maybe even longer i want to thank you so much for watching i hope that you enjoy the cinematics that are waiting for you at the end of this video thank you